Hello and welcome to the latest cereal and oilseed market update. I hope you are all doing absolutely brilliant. In this video, I will give you a quick overview of what's been happening in cereal and oilseed markets and what we need to look out for going into the new year. Nearby Chicago maize, wheat and soybean futures contracts are now trading above pre-pandemic levels. Despite initially entering this market year well supplied with global grains, we are seeing support across the board. For wheat, although the latest USDA figures are estimating an increase in global opening stocks by 1.4 million tonnes, strong international demand remains from key net importers. The USDA now paints a more bullish picture for maize markets at this current moment. With the US maize harvest coming to an end, yields have been reported. Production was recently revised down by 5.5 million tonnes to stand at 368.5 million tonnes and ending stocks are forecast to be the lowest since 2014-15. This is a change from the picture painted earlier in the year when maize markets in particular were severely pressured on the expectations of a large US crop and the pandemic stripped demand from the bioethanol sector. Further to that, summer drought meant Ukrainian production was also reduced by 8 million tonnes, with the US absorbing their exports, which will likely be destined for China. To no surprise, the latest USDA report increased China's maize imports from 7 to 13 million tonnes. Latest custom data showed that China was set to exceed their 7.2 million tonne annual quota. Purchasing commitments from the US alone show that they're going to exceed their quota and depending on demand, they could actually exceed their quota into 2021. China is becoming a mass grain importer as they feed a recovering pig herd that was decimated by the African swine fever. Their imports of barley, maize, sorghum and wheat for July to September is at 5.16 million tonnes. This is up 191% for the same time last year. Going into 2021, the Klee Global Watch Points will be the moderate La Nina weather event. If this causes the Australian wheat harvest to be wet, then progression could be stop-start and potentially impact quality. However, with Australian production forecast to rebound to around 28.9 million tonnes after following successive years of drought, the seasonal pressure could arguably be more felt this year when the crop comes to market. A significant impact of this La Nina weather event will be monitoring the dry weather in South America and ensuring that soybean plantings are planted and established in time, ready to be harvested and replaced by Brazil's second maize crop, which will commence planting in January. This is around 75% of their total maize crop and late planting from delayed soybean harvest could have an impact on yields. For more information and to keep up to date with latest news, please visit the Cereal and Oil Seed Market webpage on the AHDB website. Thank you.